Roman Warden body because we were formed in 1485 by Henry VII after the Battle of Bosworth Field because he wanted a sovereign's bodyguard to move around the country with him and we still play a role as members of the sovereign's bodyguard on so many occasions to this day. However, in 1826, the Duke of Wellington decided, commanded in fact, that he was going to select all his Roman Warriors from branches of the British military. So that means nowadays, all of us to even apply for selection here have to have done at least 22 years in the British military. We need to have been warrant officers or sergeant majors. That's the highest rank we can have here before we sell our souls and commission as an officer. We also need to have our long service and good conduct medals. That proves beyond any reasonable doubt that we never got caught. <laughs> or on occasions, we might have done but we got away with it. Which is why some of us can still stand here today. However, since 1826, there's only been 422 of us. That means that more people in that time have scaled Everest. More people have been in space than have stood here on a beautiful sunny Sunday afternoon and made up a tour for you guys. Bits of which might even be true. <laughs> I had the privilege of serving for 32 years as a musician in the finest goddamn military band anywhere on the planet, the band of His Majesty's Royal Marines. Now, I am fully aware that there are other military bands in this country and abroad. Not my fault, they're rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> served all around the world with them, including on the Royal Yacht Britannia, directly supporting our royal family as they went around the world. Came here about 20 months ago and start this new life for my family. And we're very privileged to be here. Now, in a minute, I'm gonna step off this block. And if you wanna ask me any more questions, you can. If you want a photo for your dartboard, we can do that as well. And you can throw things at me when you get home. However, firstly, apologies for the thing stuck in my throat. Thank you so much for that lady, because it's made a massive difference. However, you have to remember two incredibly important things as you leave me now. At the bottom of those stairs early on, I discovered that the vast majority of you are tourists. <laughs> and that's fine. You keep us in a job. However, the problem with some tourists is they leave us and then they go on tripadvisor.com <laughs> and they write a little review about their day out at the Tower of London. So, with that in mind, the two most important things to remember are oh, you've enjoyed your tour this afternoon, you think it's been a bit of fun, you've learned a bit of history, you think you're not quite as much of an idiot as you were used to be put that on your report. You put that you had a wonderful tour done by Nev. It's three letters, so the Americans can keep up, alright? <laughs> USA NEV, you will be fine with that. However, most importantly, and I mean this in all sincerity, you're looking at that clock now thinking. 55 minutes of my life, I'm never getting back. The bloke's an idiot. He spent most of the time coughing. I'm not even sure he was making it some of it true. I apologise. Thanks for sticking with it because I'm an idiot I'm stood here talking to myself. But if that really, really is the case, what you write at the bottom of your report is that your tour was done by the chief Yogi Warner. Then we all stay friends and I'll keep my job. Right? Happy days. Ladies and gentlemen, hope it has been a bit of fun. Enjoy the Sunday afternoon sun. Enjoy your time in London. Enjoy the time in London in particular. I've been there. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Yeah.